Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkjan Wiersma and today, as I have promised on uh, several Facebook groups, today I'm going to do an uh, update on my Miltonia Arcades. We will have a look at uh, all of my uh, Miltonia Arcades. And yeah, it's kind of obvious why I chose this moment, I think, because most of them are in bloom now. There are some that are still spiking and some that did already bloom, but most of them are now in bloom and, and they look phenomenal, if you ask me. So I really, really enjoy uh, growing my Miltonia orchids as well. And especially the bigger girls, I have three of them, four that are, uh, are fairly big, but these two especially, they are very large. And uh, so we're going to have a close up uh, at them as well. So I will pick up the camera that makes it a little bit easier so we can have a better uh, view of these beautiful blooms. But before I do that, let uh, get me uh, one thing straight. And that is that I do grow my Miltonia orchids, all of them in a semi hydroponic setup. So um, if you're new to this channel, you probably didn't know that, but I uh, like uh, the semi-hydroponic setup. So my Miltoniopsis, uh, not my Miltoniopsis, my Miltonia orchids, big difference there, uh, do really enjoy uh, this semi-hydroponic uh, setup. And before I go any further, uh, uh, let me quickly address that I have a southwest facing uh, greenhouse. These uh, plants are in my greenhouse, as you can see. And so they do get quite some light. I have beautiful natural daylight, uh, quite some sun. So that's why I keep uh, the door open behind me. And normally I have that fan running, so I do get quite some fresh air in to keep the temperatures at a, uh, a nicer level. And currently it's now 30, 31 in the sun, so it's getting uh, warmer already. But I'd like to keep it between, uh, well, basically 20 and 30 degrees um, during the day. At night it goes down about to eight, 18 up to 19 degrees. So that's some information that I think most people are interested in. So I thought I'm going to put it out now before I grab the camera. Um, so yeah, uh, that is basically uh, in a nutshell how I uh, care for these uh, beautiful orchids. So I'm going to grab the camera now and we're going to look at them all one by one. So let's go. <laughs> so yeah, let's start with the uh, elephant in the room. <laughs> this is uh, my Ragnellii, Miltonia Ragnellii. At least a type of uh, Ragnellii. There are quite a few Ragnelliis. Ragnellii. <laughs> So I'm not completely sure which one I have, but it's at least one of those. And I just uh, counted the spikes. I did uh, recount it three times because it's fairly hard to count them all. But I uh, get at uh, 24 at the moment. So 24 spikes. Well, you might try to count them yourself. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I counted them three times and I think it's uh, tw 24, at least a lot. And you can see, um, can see that obviously and how beautiful it looks. And here are some blooms up close. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blooms. And let me try it again. Yeah, there's a little bit of fragrance there, but yeah, little soft, sweet fragrance I get uh, today. So it's a very beauty and uh, like we just discussed, it's fairly big. I even have a, uh, a video about uh, repotting this one into this, uh, yeah, basket. No, it's not a basket, it's uh, basically a lid some sort, but it was translucent and I found it in a secondhand shop. So I bought it for a whole different purpose, <laughs> but I made a, uh, Arcade pot out of it, but you can see it's already too small. So I need to uh, upgrade uh, this one. And I think those dark greens are just slightly a bit bigger than this one. So I can probably get away uh, with that uh, one more year. And then I will I try not to think about it, but maybe one day I need to divide this one. But maybe. Uh, just a, a, a little part of, so I have still a, quite a, uh, a large uh, orchid because I really, really love them when they are specimen size plants. It looks so beautiful, so beautiful when they start to spike and this one is growing in all kinds of directions as you can see. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the first one, the Ragnellia. Let's uh, have a look at, uh, at the second one. 
So I just uh, move my Ragnelia a little bit to the side so I have some room to enter uh, these guys. But look at this one. This one, yeah, normally I would say that this one is uh, really stealing uh, the show. It did it last year, but this year, I'm not sure. Even though this has a few spikes more, but this is, yeah, it may be a, a sea breeze. Miltonia sea breeze, or uh, I have it as a Sebastian, a Bastian Whitm Whitmer, and I'm not completely sure, so it's basically no idea. But the blooms are very similar to those two. But yeah, I think this year this one is uh, really stealing the show. I, I uh, did count 18 spikes on this one. But uh, what I like about this one is that this one basically opens up all the flowers at the spikes, where the Ragnelia has the tendency to drop the first ones and it's still working on opening up buds. So that's something I do not like as much. It still looks okay, but you can see already the first one's starting to go over, where this one is just keeping them open. And then you get this beautiful blooming of and so many flowers. Absolutely stunning. As you can see, this one is in a green bucket, I just uh, a pot I just uh, referred to by the Ragnelii. And like I said, I believe these are a little bit bigger. And I'm just having them in a tray and I have water. If you can probably can see a glare over here. So I always have water in there and that's how I uh, keep them in a semi-hydro setup. Yeah, what's just a, a close-up of the blooms. So, so beautiful. So yeah, not pretty sure of the ID, but you have uh, something that is very similar if you are interested in growing something like this. And one, uh, if your Miltonias are happy, they have the tendency to grow fairly quick, in my opinion. One bulb can shoot out multiple uh, growths, and most of the times it's two, sometimes three, and I even have one that I will show you in a minute that shoot out four new growths on one bulb. So you can imagine if all uh, at least make two new growths the plant goes very big in a, in a fairly short time especially for orchids <laughs> so that is this one well up here i have uh this is the Bartle schwartz white it did bloom already and i'm trying to find the more regular Bartle schwartz but i don't don't have it it was available quite quite easily a few years back, but now, yeah, I decided to have it and I <laughs> cannot find it anywhere. The one next to it is obviously spiking beautifully. And this is, uh, and if I have photos of the blooms, I will insert them as well. But this is the Latonia Sandy Scove. Also stunning. But yeah, the blooms are uh, for this year are about to come. And we have also multiple spikes, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a fairly young plant, but it's really getting there. And then next to this one, that one, we have, for me, something very, very special. I never thought I would found this color combination. I only saw it once somewhere online, a picture, and I thought, oh my, if I ever could find it. And then I found it at Landsbergen, at one of the, those uh, open houses. Where you can visit i have several videos of uh, of those visits and one in one of those visits i found this one yellow white and a, a dark reddish color my three most favorite colors in one bloom absolutely stunning you can see this one has quite some blooms open as well it's really getting to a size now which makes it even more beautiful i have this one in a net pot and it has some water in there and you can see some roots sticking out. So I potted it up in a very small net pot. I just put that pot in here, I filled it up with uh, pumice and another layer of pebbles. And that's it. So I didn't uh, have to take uh, the roots out because that's, that's going to be a challenge if you put them in a net pot. But I was trying it out and this one really enjoys it. But yeah, if this, uh, this one has luckily one or two years before it uh, will start to, to reach in the edge of the pot. So I don't have to repot it yet, but someday I will. That's going to be a challenge for sure. But yeah, it's amazing. Also no name for it, but it's absolutely beautiful. In my opinion, very rare, very rare. So I was very, very lucky to find this one. And it was only one plant, you guys. 
and in the whole nursery and they have about a million plants they say a lot not for sale of course but they are really uh, growing the seedlings and there was only one of these guys left so i'm happy <laughs> with that one next to it we have a sunset that's my uh, original sunset that has beautiful uh, very strong colors and did bloom already so you saw it in my blooming updates but it's a sunset and then we have another big one this is the Specta spectabilis moroliane royalty and uh, look at that i think it has also 18 spikes I'm not completely sure and the fragrance on this one is absolutely beautiful it's a sweet fragrant type but it's 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 beautiful and look at these blooms absolutely stunning so yeah you can see we have quite a few of them and it looks so beautiful so beautiful and this one is in a pot and i did uh, drill two holes in there i hope you can see them so this is more the uh original semi-hydroponic setup sort of <laughs> sort of but yeah i had the same problem i needed uh, a very large part i couldn't find the translucent one anymore but i think it's doing okay and then this one it's a purple cross that i also found at uh, landsbergen and you can see it's also f starting to become quite a plant but I have sadly no name for it and it's not in bloom yet. Will not take long anymore, but it's almost there. This is a maxillaria next to it, so I'm going to skip that one. And we're going to go one shelf down, which is a little bit easier for me <laughs> to fill. So we have one spike here and one there. That's two, three, four, five, six on this one. Uh, well seven i hope you can see that one there and uh, yeah maybe that one go is going to make another one but so far uh, seven spikes and this is my peter comp latonia peter comp uh, mr peter comp to be uh, correct <laughs> and again this one is not in bloom yet this is probably one of the most difficult ones it's a little bit more picky than the rest but um yeah it, it took almost three years to get it really settled in in a pot and to get the, the roots growing and i keep saying to this plant this is your only way uh if you want to survive i'm not going to change the media this is what i do and it's really it's it's true and uh after three years she started to adapt so this one just had uh, quite uh, needed quite some time to adapt but it did and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This one also bloomed already. It's my Flevevskens, if I pronounce that correctly, probably not. <laughs> Here we have the name. Just beautiful yellowish uh, blooms, but this one is already done and it's about, it's just taking a rest a little bit. I'm not 100% satisfied by how the plant looks. I think it can do a little bit better but we have several spikes as you can see so that's that's okay but i hope to grow it a little bit bigger a little bit stronger yeah who knows who knows next to it is a division of my uh, more spotted miltonia that i have over here in this corner and it's in bloom so let's get over to this one it's the same one this is actually the mother plant but you can see this one has those spots here and there sometimes i have a bloom that doesn't have the spots but most of the times it's somewhere at least one but nonetheless beautiful and that's why i bought the other miltonia sunset we just saw that i, that I uh, refer to as my original one <laughs> as it should be but anyhow this one looks no it doesn't have a spot not really or maybe there a little bit but it's a uh, beautiful sunset and it's doing well but it doesn't get that very large bulbs as this one does this is the other uh, sunset so i think it's a little bit this one is a little bit stronger i think but anyhow i have this one for years then we have another one that did bloom already this year this is my festiva Latonia festiva and this one is uh, a very fairly compact grower 
and I need to repot it because I see new growths to the edge of the pot. But anyhow, and it has these beautiful flowers, but they have the tendency to uh, be very close to one another. And so that when they open, they don't really have the room to fully open. So that's a bit of a downside of, of this one, I think. But nonetheless, I like it. But yeah, where other miltonis can have big rhizomes, this one doesn't. And also in the blooms, they are very compact. And then we have another beauty. And here you can see we have one bulb here. And it did shoot out three new growths. So suddenly I have a way bigger plant. And this is the Cloveciae. Not only a Cloveciae. And that one has beautiful spikes, fairly long. It has three. Oh, it's working on three. And first two started to open up. And look at these blooms. What a beautiful different shape and beautiful colors on them. I really, really like them. Very beautiful, but like I said, oops, there's a, my Ragnelia <laughs> pushing in my back with a spike. But anyhow, it's beautiful. A fairly, fairly long spikes. It's still not done growing. And the plant is over there. So yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, str yeah, strange, <laughs> different uh, shape to it. Then down here. This is the first time I have it in bloom. It's this one. Let me turn it around a little bit. This yellow one. I'm going to zoom in for blooms. And this is the name for it. Not only a gold, Goldale Moyer. Moyer. It's one of the, oh, I'm sorry, one of the parents of the sunset. And you see that spotting in that yellow as well over there. So I think that this one it's just showing that because that's one of her parents. So it's, it's a sunset. You can see the difference in the flowers, but it has just a trait of the parents in there, which technically shouldn't, shouldn't be there anymore. But uh, I don't mind. I think you can see the lip is a bit, little bit different than the actual sunset, but beautiful. And then over this, oops, my, I'm stuck. Here we are. <laughs> I was stuck in this beautiful uh, spike. Only two blooms. It's a fairly young plant. It's starting to get uh, some size to it now. And this is the bloom, bloom ti, bloom ti, bloom ti. I'm sorry, it's sometimes a bit difficult to pronounce the names, but lucky I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, beautiful that orange color with that pink. Beautiful. Uh, blooms. This one is a little bit dirty. Not sure what it is, but yeah, look at that. Isn't it a beautiful flower? I really enjoy this one. I really do. Then over here we have some more spikes to come. This is a cross with a Miltonia and something else. It's a, a, a Ringonia. Ringonia an alba form it's the white white blooms with a bit of pink it's not doing very well but i think it's coming back to doing better <laughs> and then we have here a spike another spike and there this one and this is the angela barker hope you can see it also a very pretty pretty bloom one of my favorites i did sunburn it last year not a good thing to do <laughs> Then we have the Miltonia castaniae. Castanea. Sadly, I didn't have this one in bloom yet. It's growing, as you can see. This is falling off. And I think, yeah, you can see this bulb is bigger than the last one. So there's some progress, but it's slowly. This is a slow grower. And this is the same type of orchid. It does the same thing. <laughs> Two in one pot, but I decided to grow them separately. Castania is. And let's get over here. Because this is also such a pretty orchid. It's bloomed. <laughs> Hard to see. There we go. And this one's a little bit older. Let me uh, grab these blooms. Yeah, look at this. This better. <laughs> Those are a bit fresher. 
absolutely beautiful and this is perhaps i saw this picture over on uh, roger's facebook i think it is the miltonia kirsch country garden very very similar blooms i'm pretty sure it is the same one so i'm very very happy i had it as no idea but now i think i have an id for this one i think so and if you recognize it please let me know if you agree there's one more spike over here and another one over here and it's currently blooming on two spikes it looks like one but as you can uh, see now <laughs> hopefully it is two two spikes and then in front of it look at this one and something is smelling very great is it this one yeah it has a fragrance but it's not not the one both of them do have a fragrance but not a fragrance it's very sweet anyhow but look at this so yeah i have not a name for it but if you look if you compare with the bloom ti we just saw maybe it's a variety of the same orchid or a crush with it we quickly go back on this one if you look at this flower it's a little less strong in colors and then go back to this one pretty close i believe so could be a completely different crush but i think there is some blue bloom tea in it and i have some dirty leaves yes i know i will uh, need to clean that but i uh, do not mind it luckily <laughs> too much then next to this one let me put this bottle away um my insecticide bottle was there <laughs> anyhow this is um miltonia uh where is the tag i was trying to find a tag for it i always have a tag for my plants it's the moriane uh spectabile semi alba something like that i know it's that one but i'm not completely sure if i have the order of the name right but anyhow it's strange i cannot find the tag did it fell on the floor no but this is it and this uh i did cover it in one of my last videos but this one is still adapting it was a gift from elzo also uh, i know from a facebook group and he also is subscribed to my channel and he sent me this plant thank you so much i'm so happy with it and it's still adapting and it's doing better but it, it needed some time and but it's, it's slowly but surely uh, we'll get there i'm pretty sure i see uh, progress i see progress and i see some beautiful moss already starting they really enjoyed it as well and next to it i have a a, a cross with the uh, morleane you can obviously see the resemblance of the morleane it's very similar it's a little bit different and this uh, let me check ah that's funny yeah differ <laughs> miltonia bluntii morleane so that is a cross this one is a cross between this one we just saw and this one <laughs> i think that's funny so then uh, if you cross those two you probably get something similar to this absolutely beautiful and this is the one that did make four new growths out of one bulb yeah it's this this side i hope you can see it we see one here and one here those are both attached to this bulb and a new growth here and a new growth here so yeah if that happens your plant is uh, getting bigger quite quickly you can imagine <laughs> so miltonius can do that but beautiful look at that in the back we have even more flowers very nice color they are a little bit more reddish colored than the uh, morleana and let me check we have this one this is also a angela barker but this was even more severe severe sunburned and but it's still not nice i'm not completely sure if it really was the sunburn as you can see it's just not really happy sadly but i tried to uh, recover it 
So yes, you guys, those were all my Miltonias. We are uh, there. But look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That sea of flowers. So yeah, I thought this is the time. And let me put this girl in as well. <laughs> so beautiful. But yeah, like I said, a lot of flowers. I enjoy them so, so much. Absolutely. So we have a few smaller ones and also a few bigger ones, some sizes in between. Absolutely beautiful. And I have a feeling that I will uh, have some more in the near future because I keep falling in love with them. With them. And there's quite a few more. And who knows? I'm not really active searching for them, but like these two I found on the open house at Landsbergen. And then I take them with me. Absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, this is it. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my uh, next uh, videos. Bye bye.